If an apple tree says it's an apple tree, but it's not producing apples, it's producing pears, then it's a what? It's a pear tree. Right, so how could I claim to be a Christian, to say that I love the Lord, but my life, other than on a Sunday morning, looked nothing like it. I'm talking about drinking, sex, my language, my thoughts. A lot of times we don't think about, it's just what's going on in our hearts, the things I wanted, the things I didn't want, the things I thought in my mind, the way I treated others. I was like fighting people. I was kind of crazy, I'm not going to lie, <laughs> when I was young. Um, I was very scrappy, always had an attitude, a very angry person, I had a lot of anger inside, because I had a really hard life growing up. Um, one day, I was going to church, and I heard the gospel many times growing up, but it was as if it had fallen on fresh ears and I heard it for the first time. Because see, the thing is, we can say, yeah, I believe God is real, I believe God is holy, I believe he's righteous, I believe the scripture is probably true. And at least in America, most people believe that, they'll say that. Um, but it's the second part of the gospel that I wasn't believing, which is like, I'm a sinner and I'm not holy and I don't match up to God's standards. And although I had heard that for years and years, it fell on me like the weight of that, that it's like, wow, I am broken. And every part of me that was not a part of that apple tree, those pears I produ was producing, those bad fruits, were really starting to come into my mind in a new way. And I was disgusted by them for the first time. And I realized I actually, before this moment, like hadn't hated my sin. I said that I love God, but I didn't actually love God and want him to be the Lord of my life. So a part of my testimony is living for years saying, I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian. I could tell you Bible stories, all of that. And then one day I truly believed the gospel 